told me she's learned how to do baking. So why are you not baking instead of being here to do this? She she doesn't have 75,000 naira to buy an oven. This is it. Today, I fulfilled my pledge to assist Ms. Gimba Sophia Emmanuel in her aspiration to acquire an oven and start her baking business. DJ Paco Rich. <sighs> it is good that we are all alive to witness some great moments, great stuff, where really they happen for Africa. My name is DJ Paco Rich. Wherever you watch from, I de greet you. Yes, from the south to the east to the north of your country, wherever you find yourself to be. There is something that Pito B has done that I feel that we should applaud him for because it is not something we see regularly you they understand it is not something we they see say they happen regularly for our system inside you remember that not long ago peter obi did a press conference after a president elect tinibu was um announced the winner of the 2023 nigerian election that was supervised by INEC. yes um he made a press conference or he met the press and then he spoke to them but in the middle of his speech he said something about a young lady that was supposed to prepare him tea and you know the regular Peter Obi thing. He wants to do everything himself because he doesn't want a lot of people to serve him. So he decided to prepare his coffee himself. But a young lady insisted. And then according to the story that he narrated, the young lady was very sad because Peter Obi lost the election. And so he engaged the lady in a conversation just to find out that the lady had completed school and then she doesn't have a job she's unemployed and she was looking out for her to start a baking business but the only thing blocking her from her baking business is to have an oven an oven to bake or to start her baking business and for that reason Pitobi became very emotional even at that press conference. You could see him tearing up and crying. A lot of people said that it was all political gimmicks and antics and stunts. A lot of people rubbished it. People said so many things about it. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to play that video to you so that you see what really happened at the press conference. So you've seen me every day talking to young people. So this half, just this morning, I went somewhere with the chairman. And a young lady was to boil the water for me to make tea. I said, I will do it. She said, she will do it. She was excited to do it. She was worried. And she said to me, she was almost in tears that I lost the election. And I said, so what's your name? She said, she's this, call her name. I said, so who are you? She said, she was from Nasarawa. So I said, where do you go to school? She said, she went to university of Nasarawa. Say, so what do you do? Say, she has no job. She graduated since 2018. Say, so what are you trying to do? She told me she's learned how to do baking. So why are you not baking instead of being here to do this? Say, she doesn't have 75,000 naira to buy an oven. Okay. Uh, so many people at the back there. So what I'm going to do is... And you can see the man was very emotional when he was saying that particular he when he was sharing that particular story so today i was there when somebody prompted me that paco dj kindly go and check up on peter obi's page there is something interesting you would love to read and this is it today i fulfilled my pledge to assist miss gimba sophia emmanuel in her aspiration to acquire an oven and start her baking business 
Interestingly, she had indicated that she would procure a Nigerian made oven to enhance the value chain and put into effective the production to consumption and mantra. Hashtag Peter Obi with the Nigerian flag. And as you can see, this is a verified account from P2B. So it is not as if somebody has designed something in Photoshop and then we are showing it to you. There are pictures backing this claim, and some of some are the some are this is some of the pictures that you're seeing. Yes, um, P2B giving the lady a check. And the lady showing the check to the public. Um, these are the pictures. And I would want to commend him for this because leaders lead by example. There are certain people that sometimes when, I, when they are looking for some position, they give the people hope that unless I get this position, that is the only time I can be able to help you. But here is a man who have lost an election. And right after that, he has started delivering and serving his people. Even let's say if he was the one that won the election, he hasn't been sworn in, but he has started actions and this is the kind of leaders we are looking for in africa and i throw this challenge to the president-elect with all due respect mr tunibu the nigerian youths are in a lot of hardship let's put tribe aside whether yoruba or Igbo. the fact that or hausa the fact that you are a leader and you are the president of Nigeria, you have the responsibility and the mandate to ensure that the people of Nigeria have a better life. To be precise, the youth. The reason why I'm emphasizing on the youth is that they are the future and the machinery of this generation. You cannot build A very active and productive country with old people. You need the youth to do that. And you have to empower them. You would have to restore hope to the youth of Nigeria. We are done with the election beautifully. Some were disappointed. Some were not disappointed. Some are happy. Like Tim, Timayas, in Timayas' song, it is sweet to them, it is pain them. But at long last, we have to come together as one people, as Nigerians, and push Nigeria forward in the right direction. Pitobi has done his side. He's proven to us that if he's given the mandate, he will even do more, in, and he has done it. And so I'm expecting Tunibu to also do great things. Things that will let the youth know that this is our grandfather and he has the heart to make us happy. This is what we are talking about. So I would like to applaud Mr. Pitobi to keep it up. From Ghana, we know ministers, parliamentarians who are looking forward to become president. They are saying unless they have been sworn in before they can help people. This is just an attitude of a man who wants to sleep with a woman before he go give him help. Where that thing they call him, they play. You understand? So, I would like to say a great thank you to Mr. Pitobi for such a kind gesture to this beautiful lady and there is another advice that i'm going to give to this lady please try and
pick up young people who want to learn bakery in Nigeria and also train them. Apprenticeship. Train them, Mr. Pitobi. That is what he is looking out for. Create an empire with the little that he's giving you. I heard you were giving, you requested for 75,000 Naira. But with the envelope that they gave you, I'm sure that the check is more than that because the Pitobi that we have seen wouldn't give 75,000 Naira just like you requested. Please make sure that the business becomes successful. It becomes one of the most productive companies in Nigeria. Be a role model to other people. And let Peter Obi's investments not go waste. Thank you, Mr. Pitobi. We wish you do more of this to people. Thank you for watching. Let me know your view. Let me know your thoughts, where you're watching from. My name is DJ Parker Rich. My dream, my focus is to put African together and push positive things in Africa. I love you. Thank you for watching. DJ Parker Rich.